When you think of birthdays, you think of having fun, relaxing, hanging out with your friends and family, and going on trips, and not working especially. Well, you would think, who would work on their birthday? Some type of maniac, right? Well, I'm that maniac. Actually, the other day was actually my birthday, and I was working. I was truck driving, delivering a load, and you know, it was just another day for me. I chose to work, I don't mind, I could have not worked, but to me, it was just another day, like I said. I got trips planned to do some fun stuff later on, so it's not a big deal. I'd rather just make the money, save the money, and just move on with my life. Also, you may be wondering, where the heck am I right now? Well, I'm actually in a sleeper bunk on my tractor. If you were that one person who were really curious on and where the heck I am exactly at. I'm just in the sleeper berth of my tractor. It's actually pretty comfy. Got a pillow, got a blanket, and there's a bed right behind me. The following clips will be me vlogging on my birthday. So hope you enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe. Good afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video. So today we're actually picking up a load here in Florida. So Florida man's on the run. And then we're gonna deliver somewhere in Georgia. All right, let's get right, to I'm it. I'm at a warehouse, Florida just, um, he just made me sweep the empty, so I'm gonna drop the empty. And then they gave me the paperwork to pick up the loaded. It should be right next to the load. So I'm gonna pick up the loaded and drop the empty supposedly next to it. He said go straight back. Looking for a big orange Schneider trailer. Should be easy to find. I don't see one at this point. So I was confused for a second, but I see all these Schneider trailers, so I'm pretty sure at the right place. Now it's gonna look for the loaded trailer. Um, right after I park this empty one of these spots here. I was so confused. I thought we didn't have our trailer here, but I do see our trailer parked empty. So let's just set up here and uh, back it in. Make sure you go slow and just Right, all back then. Let's take a look at this. All right, you know I have space on this side. I was trying to park closer here because I was wondering, okay, I'm gonna try to get space for another driver to back in. But you know, if you see in a little bit. There's virtually no spaces or someone to park here. I tried though, so. So let's get this landing gear down, pull the lever, put the lines back and bobtail and pick up the loaded trailer, which is literally like in this room next to us. Now, drop empty. We got our loaded trailer right there. We're just gonna back into it.
all you want to do is just grind it up slowly and straight since it's at an angle might have to pull forward once then back Now let's see if it's too high or too low. Super tight back here. Um, let's see if I have enough room to turn. Yeah, I have enough room to turn the landing gear. Just barely though. Landing gear seems pretty new. All right, we're gonna have to adjust the trailer height before we back in. This is loaded, doing this in a tight spot makes it kind of hard, but it's all right. Let's get it done. No complaints, either way, you gotta get it done, complaining or not. All right, after a minute or two, I got it actually to a good height to back into. So let's do that. Man, if you guys didn't know, Florida in the winter is actually pretty warm. It's like 80 degrees out here. I'm just like for winter weather, but I'm sweating. Shoot, I, think I probably need to change clothes in a little bit. Get in there. Jeez, that trailer felt a little heavy. Gonna do a tug test. Got a tug. Okay, now it's locked in place. Alright. Now we can uh, put the landing gear back all the way up and connect these lines. You know, I like it when these lines just go on easy just like that. Makes it, makes my day better, faster, stronger. <laughs> Come on now. There we go. Slowly but surely. All right, done clicking this. Put that right there. Now I'm going to turn on the light test. Check out all the lights. Okay. Man, it's so tight. I mean, look at this. So I'm going to look at the white blinker. All right, I see a blink. Go walk with all the way around so we can look at the back. Check this one real quick. Come on, blink. Okay, it's good. Tires are good. We're gonna have to adjust the tandem because they're all the way to the rear. That's the seal. Tail lights, brake lights, upper lights. Okay, good. Take a picture of the seal real quick. Also got to adjust the tandem though. So let's do that. Shit. I'm just gonna bring it to about 41. Good lengths where I can uh, make my turns easier. Had a hard time moving for a second.
Okay, right there's good. Just gonna lock it back in place. And we're gonna move forward just a little bit to lock it, and then we're gonna head out. Okay, we are good, so let's go. All right, well, now they're saying I have to go to a different exit, gate four. So I can't come, I can't go out the way I came from. Well, that's all right. We'll just slowly but surely make it out of here. I'm gonna try to find a pilot or a guide on my navigation, and then I'm gonna take my lunch break there. And then uh, hopefully get a shower because I got all sweaty from that little the fiasco in uh, Florida heat. So we're actually coming up here on the pilot. I'm gonna try to turn into this. I'm gonna try to park. Park over there, but um, the official parking for pilot is somewhere off on the right. I'm gonna see if there is any parking space because what I wanna do, I'm gonna take a lunch break here and I wanna take a shower because the previous ship there, I got all sweaty because it's so warm in Florida over here. During the winter too, it's so weird. So, let's try to find somewhere to park. I might have to blindside back, but I don't want to. I'm, ho I'm hopefully, I'm thinking driver's side back here if there's a spot open. All right, so there is a spot. I had to cut the video short because I was really trying to focus on backing and I didn't really want to get distracted, so. But now that I'm already basically in a spot, I'm gonna record now. All now I've just got to do is back straight. I'm gonna take a shower and then um, take my lunch break here too. Be locking this door. Heading through the pilot. All right, so we're gonna head inside and uh, get a shower and see how it looks. All right, so we're here in the shower room. And this is what basically looks like. They're usually more hooks, um, but only one hook, so I'm gonna put my bag there and I'm gonna put the towel here. So you have to shower, um, you know, heat adjustment, turn on the water, put your stuff, soap here, whatever, shampoo. So let's uh, get clean. All right, just finished my shower. I just ate lunch, finished my lunch break. So the rest of the day is just gonna be me driving. Um, I do have a drop off. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it in time or I might have to stop somewhere and just end for today. But like I said, just driving for most of the day. All right, so after driving another couple hundred miles from the rest area after my lunch break, I'm actually made it to the delivery spot and it's already nighttime, but it's all right. So I have like two hours left on my 14 hour clock. So I already put the landing gear down, gonna pull the lever, put the cables away. A little trick here if it's like stuck you just want to tap it instead of trying to forcefully pull it up you just want to tap it up if it's just stuck so yeah so all i'm doing is dropping a load of trailer delivered in georgia and then i'm picking up an empty and then I'm actually gonna probably park at my company's warehouse to do my 34 hour reset. So I have two hours left, 20 miles away. I can make it, but I just gotta hurry up. So let's pull away from this trailer and let's go. Actually, I see a few Schneider trailers up ahead. 
Hopefully it's the one that's assigned to me to pick up. You know, since it's like almost midnight in the East Coast, it's not too much people working right now, or truck drivers in general. But these are not the empties that I'm supposed to pick up. Alright, well... That is... Frustrating. Hold on. It's sitting there on the other side of the building. You know what? Let's do it. Oh, guys. I see some deer. Well, you guys can't probably see it, but they're running about here. You know, Georgia is really like heavily forest. Alright, well the only Schneider trailers I see is parked on the docks and I can't pull that away. Okay, saying that's my empty, but it's parked on the dock. I don't think I'm supposed to pull that. I'm gonna check with the security guard because it might be a loaded trailer. So why would I pick that up from the dock? I need to double check because I don't want to back that back in if it is loaded. So I'll go to the security guard real quick. Well, let me check something here. If these are empty, the one on the parking lot, I'm going to take these instead because the general rule is not to post pick up trailers from a dock if you're not assigned to it. So let's uh, double check if these are actually empty. The way to tell if they're empty if they have a seal or not. Even if they don't have a seal, you want to open it. Okay, this has a seal. Let's check the other one. Come on, man. I have to go parking. Okay, that has a seal. Okay. I'm thinking the one at the dock might be actually empty but i'm gonna ask the security guard hopefully he could just help me out real quick because i don't want to be delayed here for so long all right we're gonna pull up to the guard shack up ahead i need to double check if i can pick that one trailer which is assigned to me but it's on the dock area all these other trailers on the parking lot are loaded so See what it says. All right, unfortunately, security guard told me that there's no empties, but what I can do is put an empty exemption and then um, finish that assignment. And then uh, someone on the tech side of the company will update it. Now I'm gonna end my shift, drive to a company's parking lot and, you know, do my third fire reset. So let's get the fudge out of here. I just officially parked at the parking lot of my OC. Um, ended my shift, Bob Till here, with 30 minutes left on my 14 hour clock. Successfully made it, successfully delivered everything. So yeah, um, that's it for today. That's the end of today's vlog. Peace.